for the show as I stop. like that tone, I'm like twanger. <clears throat> All right, let's talk about, let's talk about some of the most common problems that people do with their hats here, though. Um, let's figure, you know, people bring their hats to me a few times a week, and, uh, let me see if I can sit here, it's a little more comfortable. Yeah, they bring their hats to me, and uh, they tend to have the same problems, and, uh, you know, a lot of the same problems that I'm guilty of with this hat. Um, but, uh, I don't have a lot of hats to demonstrate with, so we'll use this one. Right there is the most obvious, and one of the first things I want to whack out that, because it's easy to do. Generally, if you just hit this whole area with steam, the whole thing, and, and almost like just brush it upwards. Use a nice stiff brush and brush it like, almost like grabbing it and kind of like stretching it slowly up as you steam and hold it. Brush it upwards, up, 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 up. It's not gonna get rid of everything. What's really gonna get rid of that is wetting it. What you gotta do to get rid of that slack is shrink it. So you take some water, I've talked about this, a wet paper towel on a dry one wet this whole band so it starts turning dark. Get it dark evenly. Use a second dry paper towel to catch the drips. They're gonna go down here and up here. It'll bead the water so there'll be little bubble drips up there so you catch them, dry them off. Just make this wet the whole thing, entire band. Even if you got wrinkles just there, you wanna shrink it all evenly. This too, just get it all done. And bam, after that, um, don't stack your hats. It's stacking hats that does that. So um, basically, yeah, keep them upside down. Don't stack them. If you got to stack them, put something in between it, like some cellophane. You know, uh, I demonstrate. You know, but yeah, you take like a piece of cellophane and you basically, you know, cover the whole thing, and then hat. So, you know, hat, cellophane, hat, cellophane, hat, like that. Um, if you don't have that, you could make rings. You take something like uh, cardboard or plastic and you make, or even foam if you have it, foam is the best. Uh, you make like a belt about, you know, a yay long or something like that, I don't know, a couple of feet maybe. And then what you do is you attach them end to end with a stapler or whatever you want. You make a ring that's a little bigger than this, you know, so it shouldn't go really tight onto the hat. It should be a little slack, you know, so it moves around. Make a ring, so you do hat, ring of foam or cardboard or whatever hat this hat stands on top of the other cardboard ring instead of squashing this it's sitting on a ring how wide should you make it i would say about as wide as a hat band maybe a little wider like that thing is the wider you make them the higher your stacks are going to be so I try not to make them too wide i make it about as wide as a hat band and i give it plenty of slack so it sits on that doesn't sit on the hat band you go a little bigger than your widest hat band, but you know, you don't have to. It could be about, I'm gonna say, two and a half fingers long, not three. Maybe three fingers or two and a half. Yeah. Make little belts or loops, okay. Another thing, very common problem is the soft brim. The hat doesn't wanna stay in shape, and it will never stay in shape no matter how much steam you give it. The steam does nothing to it. Um, I, I brought it to the guy at Gorham Brothers, he steamed it. Yeah, it didn't do anything, right? Yeah. Okay, steaming does nothing to this. Basically, you have to stiffen it first, okay? Get it stiff and hard, really hard. Then you stiffen it, then you steam it into place. It's the stiffener is what's grabbing it and holding it into place, otherwise it just falls. So to get some, I don't know, to get enough stiffness for the hat to hold its own weight up, you know, hold it up in this kind of scoop, you need to have it a certain amount of stiffness. So you say, oh, I want my hat to be soft, but we're not gonna make it stiff, but just stiffer. 
just enough to give it a little snap, you know, like when your hat was new. So, yeah, if the guy knows what he's doing, he'll stiffen it, you know. Uh, generally, they do, you know, that's like the first step. Uh, actually, the first step would be dusting it. Dust it with some packing tape, get all the dust off the bottom and the top of the brim. Cover the sweatband up. Whoa. Okay, cover the sweatband up. And uh, basically, um, don't get any sweat, any uh, spray on the sweatband. The leather has to be dry when you're spraying. And that's it. You uh, dust it. You don't want to get any dust in. Spray it, spray it, let it dry, spray it. Let it dry, spray it, let it dry, you know, it's kind of spray it, dry, repeat, spray, dry, repeat, okay. Do it as many times as you need until the hat feels like it's not mushy and soft anymore, that it's got a little bit of, you know, a little snap to it, or it's not snapping, at least it's got a little rigidity to it, you know, like, like that. It's holding itself up, snapping up and down. It's stiff enough to do that. It's still soft. I mean, there's nothing stiff about it, but it's uh, somewhere in between stiff and soft, you know? It just has body, enough body to give it a straight edge. Too soft, it'll never be straight. Um, stiffening is the first thing you do. Another very common no-no that a lot of people do, they leave the hats on the, on the table like this. Or they grab it right here in the same place every day it up or they hang it up and they grab it in the same place every day. I say just invert it upside down like this and basically uh, if you're doing that it's upside down nobody's ever going to grab that point you're always going to grab it by the brim but you could grab it in different areas of the brim. Today you'll grab it here, tomorrow there, next day you'll grab it there but when it's this way you grab it in the same little handle every time and, you know, in a year's time, you make a, uh, a hole there, or less. If it's a Panama, you know, it could be like a day. It could take a week, a couple of days to grind a hole through. Even if it's reinforced on the inside, that's not going to help. It'll hold the hole together, but you'll still have a crack there. It'll hold, be held together by, like, that safety glass stuff, that, you know, inside stuff. But it'll still crack, yeah. So the way to avoid all this is not to set your hat this way. I mean, this way, set it upside down like that. That is the good way. Um, hanging it, hanging it is gonna be okay if you're rotating it like this, and like this, you're probably gonna get wear on this side and this side eventually. You know, I've seen that a lot, it's common. Rotating it all four directions would be the best. Hanging it one, two, into quarters, in other words. So when you hang your hat, rotate it in different ways. Say, today I'm gonna put it on the side, Today I'm going to put it on the back. Today I'm going to put it on the side. Today I'm going to put it on the front. Or you know, skip all that crap and just put it upside down. You know, top of the closet like this. Maybe a ring, another one on top of it. That's fine. Um, don't grab it in the same place every time you get to grab a hole through it. That's you know best way to avoid it again. Upside down. Grab it different places. Right? Okay. Here's another one. Sweating through your hat. And people just don't learn this because nobody teaches them this when they buy a hat. Um, when you sweat through a hat, it starts going sweat, sweat, it gets bigger, 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 sweat stain. Eventually you have a sweat stain around the brim, you have a sweat stain on the ribbon, you have a sweat stain up here. Uh, even all the way around sometimes, like if you don't have thick hair, you just shaved head or, you know, thin hair or whatever. Um, you could get it to sweat all the way around it. The hat is ruined. It doesn't matter if it's $300 or whatever. Nobody wants to see a sweaty hat, you know? They don't want to care. You tell them that's a four or $500 beaver, nobody cares. It's disgusting. They don't want to see it. So um, it doesn't matter. You're better off with a $20 hat from China that's nice and clean. Um, people will think, that's a neat hat. Trust me on this, sweat sucks. So um, you don't want to have sweat. So what I'm going to suggest you do Alright, let me show you a different hat. With this one. Alright, what you gotta do is the band here, okay, the band is always wide, if you notice, okay. This is the only part that's making contact with your head, is right here. You can hear my head. It's right in there. Up here, no head. No head, no head. Down here, no head. It's not making contact with me. It's making contact here on the sweatband, here. And a little kind of a 
an area, I guess, football-shaped area right there. Okay, that means when you sweat through this hat, it's going to hit the band first. The idea of the band being dark and wide is that when you eventually sweat through there and the salt's going through, bacteria, salt, whatever, all that, you know, beautiful, great stuff, when it hits the grow grain band, it sort of, it holds it and then it travels like into the whole grow grain. You basically, it'll spread through. A lot of times it'll start right at the cotton stitches because cotton's more absorbent. So where they stitched it with a nice cotton thread, it'll go through there. You'll see a little like, uh, like a little circle of sweat here, circle of sweat there. It starts at the stitch that keeps on the bands because yeah, um, that will be very quickly absorbent where the grow grain is absorbent but in a nice slow way where it holds on to the sweat. The idea is it holds the sweat so that the felt doesn't get sweaty. Once this gets sweaty, I can't clean that for you. The only thing I could clean is that if it comes from the outside, like uh, a berry or some cigarette ash or uh, fingerprints or some food stains or a bird even, we could grind out the top layer of felt, you know? It's not impossible. You could take some felt off, just grind down. Um, that's why you don't rub it in, you don't touch it, you know, just flip the big piece off or whatever, let it dry. It turns sort of into a powder that way. And then we just kind of brush out the powder. It's much easier. So don't mess with it if you do get like bird droppings or some kind of crap on your hat. Let us take it. Um, and definitely don't scrub it in. If you anything you 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 blot, but even that I would say be careful. Um, stains can be worked on, but sweat stains, no, we can't do anything. So prevention is the key. That's it. Prevention is everything. Okay, you watch this band, you be vigilant. When it's starting to get a little sweat, the next step is it's going to go past the band onto your hat. You're going to get a little rim. Even if you see it like right here, that's where it starts too. There, you see a tiny bit of like salt or yellow or whatever, something discolored there. The next thing is going to get bigger, bigger, bigger on the brim, and then it's going to go through those stitches, and you're going to have sweat stains on there too. Okay. Eventually you'll have a whole sweat stain on the going around a ring on the brim and up here too. Prevention means when you see it here and it's gone no further, it's not on the felt really. You gotta cut off that band and put a new one on. It also means you might have to get a sweat wick in there. Sweat wick is a uh, the cotton pad. We sell them for five dollars. Um, you could buy them by the case though on Amazon. They're a lot cheaper that way. But, you know, it's like 28 bucks or so, and you get like a huge case of it. But you can get $5, and that'll last you a good long while. It's called Cap Ban New on Amazon. Or you can get it, you know, just from us. It's called Sweat Pad. It sticks on. It's a very, very strong adhesive. It goes in the front, and it's a cotton pillow, black. Same, looks like your sweat pad, like a false sweat band. But it's thick black cotton, and it absorbs it. And basically, just the sweat never touches the hat. It, it hits your sweatband. Eventually the sweatband gets too funky and you want to change it. You have to change it for another sweatband because there'll be adhesive like glue under it. It'll be sticky. I mean, I guess you can get it off with like alcohol, but why would you? You know, you just want to keep putting fresh sweat pads there. And we've carried them for like 20 years. We're not going to stop, you know. Um, maybe you get a few of them so you have some future ones because when they get dirty, you want to change it. The problem with them is that they stay wet. So when you cool off in like a nice cafe, you take your Panama off, put it back on. If you have a leather sweatband here, you could dry that off with a hanky, right? Just make it nice and dry. All right. But if you have a sweat wick there, it stays wet. So you put it on and it's like wet and cold from the air conditioner. It feels like not that clean. But it's the only way to keep your hat sweat free is the pad. Changing this band and changing the sweatband, the leather inside. That's the most expensive option out of all three. Um, but um, all those things help. I'm gonna say the sweatband is the cheapest way. Um, sweat pad, that's what I generally do. I put it right in before the sweat gets onto the felt or even before it gets onto the, the band. I don't like stains on my hat. And I work in them. So since I work in it, I always use sweatbands. I change them. I just change them every like, I don't know, maybe three to four weeks or something. 
you know, I work five days a week for a certain amount of hours. Um, and that's okay. I could I could change it like once a month and go through maybe eight to ten sweat pads. I'd say in a year at the most, maybe eight in a year, um, maybe even less. And I, I, maybe I go through like six in a year. But uh, basically, when they start getting funky, that's when you want to change it. Um, sweat wick is the only answer to keep sweat off your hat. Um, Changing the sweat band is good. Changing this is good just to aesthetically to get the sweat stains off, you know. Um, but the pad's gonna do the job. That's gonna keep the rest the hat from getting messed up again. Um, that's another really common thing that people do to screw up their hats. I've done this video before, but not not so much like in depth before. Um, let me think about this. A lot of people, when they don't wear their hats, they keep certain hats in storage. Um, it's not really they're messing up, but it gets messed up. If you keep your hat, let's say, uh, I don't know, you know, on the wall here, and you don't wear it for like, you know, 12 years, when you take it off, the leather's going to be dry and shrunken. You'll see some, like, ripples on the leather. It gets this, like, ripply look. That's shrunken leather that's dehydrated. The other thing is the hat's going to feel tighter. So when you don't wear your hat for many, many, many years, what happens is the heat just from the radiators in your house, the dry heat shrinks the leather, um, and you're not stretching it back out by wearing it. When you wear the hats, it becomes moist from the uh, perspiration and certain, you know, bodily I don't know, oils or something that keeps the leather conditioned. Basically, you wear the hat, the leather looks soft, feels good. If you don't wear the hat, the leather starts to get old and deteriorate. So, if you have an old hat you swore it used to fit you, but now it's super tight, it's pretty simple. You know, every year your house gets really hot and dry, that thing shrinks a millimeter, you know. And after like 10 years, those millimeters like add up to like, you know, whatever, you know, a lot of space. It just adds up. Okay, anything else I could talk about? How many people do the hats? What do I do with my hats? They stink. I don't know, that might be long enough. I don't want this to be super, super long. I'm trying to keep the video slightly longer, I mean slightly shorter, and because the longer ones were like 45 minutes, an hour and stuff, and I've been told that the average person doesn't have that much of a attention span to watch all my crap, but... Uh, Yeah. Okay.